Lightning is the discharge of a charge separation that builds up between two regions. For example, the charge at the bottom of a cloud might be negative and then the charge of the ground is positive. So there's a charge separation that's built up between the cloud and the ground and lightning is a discharge of the charge separation where electrons jump the gap between the cloud and the ground to discharge or neutralise the charge separation. So lightning then is a discharge of a charge separation. And this charge separation builds up due to friction. With friction, particles are rubbing against each other and colliding with each other. And when this happens, electrons on the surface of one of the particles transfers over to the other particle. So the particle that loses electrons becomes positive and the particle that gains electrons becomes negative. So with friction, there's charge transfer and this builds up regions that are positive or negative and that charge separation is what causes lightning. Now not all clouds create lightning. There needs to be very specific conditions for lightning to form. Firstly, there needs to be moist air. And often this moist air blows in from over the ocean. When this moist air travels over hot land, well then the air heats up and of course hot air rises. So these powerful currents of air are rising up into the atmosphere and this is what we call an updraft. As the air goes further into the atmosphere the water vapour condenses forming a tall vertical storm cloud. And the top of the cloud is so cold that ice forms and ice being heavier falls down through the cloud creating a downdraft. So there's particles moving up and down within the cloud and they're colliding with each other and rubbing against each other creating a charge transfer. Electrons moving from one particle to the other. Particles that lose electrons become positive. Particles that gain electrons become negative. So if it's the ice particles falling down through the cloud that become negative, then the bottom of the cloud has a negative charge. And the particles are going up to the top of the cloud, if they develop a positive charge, then the top of the cloud is going to be have a positive charge. And, and so there's a charge separation between the top and the bottom of the cloud. But there's also a charge separation between the bottom of the cloud and the ground. The ground has a positive charge. And the reason for that is because the negative charge at the bottom of the cloud repels the electrons that are in the ground, pushing the electrons down further into the ground. So the bottom of the cloud is negative and the ground is positive. So there's a charge separation between the bottom of the cloud and the ground. Now, lightning can't just jump from the bottom of the cloud to the ground because there's too much of a resistance to flow of electricity in the air. 
But when there is a large charge separation, highly charged channels of air reach down from the bottom of the cloud and reach up from the ground. These are called leaders. And when these leaders meet, the circuit is closed and the resistance to the flow of electricity is reduced. So then we have a massive rapid flow of electricity from the cloud to the ground. And this is the electrons running from the cloud to the ground. And this superheats the air, creating the flash of lightning and the crash of thunder. So for lightning to occur, Firstly, there needs to be a large enough charge separation. And to develop that charge separation, there needs to be friction. So for friction to occur, there needs to be those moving particles. So there needs to be the warm, moist air And there needs to be the tall vertical storm clouds to create the ice. Next, there needs to be a closed circuit to allow the flow of electricity. And to have that closed circuit, there needs to be the leaders connecting. And then only then is there the discharge of the charge separation. And the discharge of the charge separation is the lightning.